picking out of the past the scraps I had overlooked, those projected events which now came to the foreground. Often it is a okay, I've had a request, Kate. Yeah, uh, you've asked. You'd like to see the quick release fitness core apart. Oh, well. Okay, these are the fittings uh, before they're in the wood. And there's two bits, obviously. And unscrew. And you only have to unscrew a little bit. And then they come apart. They've got like a smooth milled part and then a quite a short threaded part. Which marries up to there. Now the milling of that is, I don't know what the tolerance must be, but it's so good. Um, you can feel the air, there's like a spring there. Now there's only a spring because of the air being trapped underneath. When you pull it apart, there's actually a pop. So you can push it in, screw it up tight. The, that extra bit of brass going in there obviously gives it some strength so it kind of bend out if it was just that much thread now they are from pool cues snooker cues i used to play for years i've, I've got a snooker cue um with that type of fitting on all right so i thought right can i marry that up with my chisel so So like all the videos I've shown, I've got a long handle. Uh, now that one, give you an idea. That one, it's just over a foot long. And then I've got the short one, which is really quite a short one. That's only five inches long. But both of them, and I've fit to quite a few tools now. So I'll just get these handy so I can give you a quick demo. Initially I started with some of the chisels that I didn't use that often just to try out my theory. Uh, but I've, now that I've got a bit of a knack to it. So that's just like a little um, spindle gouge. Um, to me that's about eight, nine uh, millis. So I want to put the short handle on. So you just push fit, screw it up a bit, and there you go. It's in. So obviously unscrew, a couple of twists, pull it apart. This is one of my favorite ones. So that is uh, just short, or maybe three quarter inch that one. Love this one, and because I love it, I've done it out of the whole thing out of uh, blackwood. It's nice and heavy, feels great. So, again, flick that out. If I want to put the long handle on, no problem. Push it in, a few turns. There you go. So remember that was about a foot long. That's about five. So you got 15, uh, sorry, 17 inches or so. Plus that really, really comfortable tool, nice and heavy. So what else have I got? These were the first ones I tried. Uh, so I've got, this is a quite a large, uh, around carbide. I've, I've stopped using the carbides a bit at the minute, but there you go. Obviously fits in the small handle, fits in the big handle. Swap that out. Here's a nice little straight. Um, skew chisel, of course. Again. And have you ever seen a skew chisel? Such a long handle. Well, now you have. I prefer the longer handles, even for small work. Uh, you know, rest it in your hip, move your body. Um, 
that's pretty much it. This is a little sided, very fine uh, spindle gouge. There you go. Short handle. And of course, fits onto the long handle. Really great. Five sets of these connections. Um, I think there's five sets for about twenty pound. Uh, it's just eBay. Um, come from China, so you'll be, you'll be able to get them anyway, probably. Uh, it's worked out really great. So I've got um, a handful of them left. Or four left, and I think I've got a couple of other tools I want to put up this system. Um, but to be honest, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm thinking of putting a um, like a self-powered sander on that works with this as well. Um, I built, I made a self-powered sander from Eddie Castellan's um, idea. Where I'm tempted to do something like this with one of those connectors onto the, and it'll fit under this, and then you can use it for that as well. So that's it. I hope that answers your question. Take care now.
Mm. Så 